An elite gymnast was, ha, was, has revealed she was first to alert USA Gymnastics about sexual abuse allegations. Maggie Nichols came forward publicly yesterday. She accused USA Gymnastics women's team doctor Larry Nasser of abuse back in 2015. Nasser is now serving 60 years in prison after pleading guilty in a child pornography case. He faces more time for sexual abuse charges. Last February, three gymnasts spoke out for the first time to 60 Minutes about their sexual abuse. Dr. John Lapook has done extensive reporting on this story and is here with the newest revelations. John, good morning. Good morning, Gail. Since that 60 Minutes report, several Olympic champions have also come forward, including Ali Raisman, Michaela Maroney, and Gabby Douglas. Maggie Nichols first came forward more than two years ago, but her identity has not been publicly known until now. It's very, very, very difficult for her to have to live with this. Gina Nichols told us about the pain her daughter Maggie endured as an alleged victim of sexual abuse. The elite gymnast was the first athlete to report team doctor Larry Nasser to USA Gymnastics, but she's only now revealing her identity. She's finally decided that she is ready to make this public and help other victims of Larry Nassar and maybe make it a safer place for other athletes. In a statement, Nichols said, up until now, I was identified as Athlete A. I want everyone to know that he did not do this to Athlete A. He did it to Maggie Nichols. Nichols says the abuse began in 2012, when she was 15 years old. These are girls from 12 to 20-year-old girls. These are almost all minors. He was allowed, as an adult man in his mid-40s or 50s, to do whatever he wanted to. As a physician, with no supervision, we never gave any parental consent. Nobody was ever in the room. He was allowed to do whatever he wanted to with his bare hands. We couldn't even stay in that same hotels with her when, we com when she competed for our country all over the world. But then they allowed a molester to do whatever he wanted to our daughter as a minor. But we were supposed to trust USA Gymnastics. It's, it's not okay. Were the other adults that were there at the Olympic Training Center allowing this to go on? More than 150 women have now accused Nasser. Gymnast Jessica Howard spoke no, about her experience during our Me Too panel. She described the trauma of coming forward. I really, really struggle, and I don't know if it's ever going to go away. And I think that's an important thing for people to understand that this doesn't just dissipate the moment you speak up. It's almost the moment that you speak up that you can actually start to process. Larry Nasser's sentencing begins next Tuesday. In a statement to CBS News, USA Gymnastics said, quote, we are focused on further developing a culture that has safe sport as a top priority throughout the organization. Boy, we can feel Mrs. Nichols' anger and her pain. We all get that. As parents, we know how to protect our kids from strangers. But what do you do with people that you know? Well, it turns out when a child is sexually abused, more than 90% of the time, it's by somebody who they know. Wow. So it, of course, can be a difficult conversation. It has to be age appropriate, but the kids have to learn what the warning signs are. And to speak up. Thank you, John, for your reporting on this story. Thank you.